Hello friends, welcome to Codage. In this session, we will see how to connect EC2 instance using SSH from our local machine. So this is AWS console and let's search for EC2. Click on the launch instance. Let me give it name as a YT instance. And let's keep all other option as a default one. And here we will create a new key pair. So let's click on this create new key pair option. Let me give it name as EC2 key pair. Key pair type will be RSA and private key file format will be .pm. Let's click on the create key pair option here. And it, it has downloaded the key pair on my local machine. In the network setting, please make sure to allow SSH traffic from anywhere, okay? Then click on the launch instance option here. Let's click on the instances. So our instance is in running state. Okay. So let's open the terminal now. And in the terminal, cd into the directory in which you have downloaded the EC2 key pair. Okay. So I am already in that directory. So if you see, this is my key pair that I have downloaded while creating the EC2 instance. So to connect to EC2 instance, just run the command ssh hyphen i then your EC2 instance key pair name. Okay. So this is the file name for the key pair. Then your EC2 instance username. So it will be EC2 hyphen user. So this user will get created automatically by the Amazon on your EC2 instance. Then add then your EC2 instance IP address or the public DNS name. So let's go into the AWS console. Let's click on the instance ID. So here you can use public IPv4 address or public IPv4 DNS address. So I'm using IPv4 address for the connection. So let's copy it and use it after the add and let's hit the enter. Enter the yes and it is getting failed because it is giving the warning that is unprotected private key file. So for this, we will have to assign some permission to our file. Okay. For that purpose, let's run the command chmod 0700 and your EC2 key pair file name. Okay. And let's execute the same command. Okay. So we have successfully connected to the EC2 instance using SSH. Now what we will do? Let's say you want to transfer some file from your local machine to the EC2 instance. In that case, you can run the next command. So let's create one folder in our EC2 instance. Okay, so this is the folder and in the demo folder, we will transfer the file from our local machine. So let me exit from the EC2 instance. I have already one demo file in my directory that is demo file.txt. So if you see the content, it has just some sample data in the text file. Okay. So I will transfer this file to the EC2 instance. So for transferring purpose, we will use the secure copy protocol that is provided by the open SSH. So let's run the command scp hyphen i, then your EC2 instance key pair, then path of your file. So that will be demo file.txt, then your EC2 instance username. So that will be EC2 hyphen user at and the IP address of your EC2 instance. So let's copy that IP address from here. Okay, then colon. And this is the path in which you want to transfer your file. So that will be demo. Okay, you can see it has copied successfully. Now if you do the SSH command again, And if you cd into demo, you can see file is copied successfully. Okay. Now let's say you want to copy file from the EC2 instance back to the local machine. So what you can do, you can run the next command. So let me exit from the EC2 instance again. And let me delete that file. So this is the demo file. So let me delete it. And let's execute the command scp hyphen i then your ec2 instance key pair file name 
then your EC2 instance username at your IP address of your EC2 instance colon then your directory name and the file name from the EC2 instance so this is the directory that we have created right demo directory and in the demo directory we have transferred the file that is demo file.txt then next will be path in which you want to transfer the file on your local machine so let me find the path let me run pwd command so in this path i want to transfer that file okay so let's use this path in the command and let's execute the command okay so file is downloaded successfully so if you go into the directory here you can see file is downloaded from the ec2 instance okay so that's it for this lecture thanks for watching the video